Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Welcome back, Maple Shade. I'm glad to see all of you. And Luke, I'm glad to see you. Abel, I'm glad to see you. Luke. I'm amazing. I didn't even have to ask the question. Amazing. Abel, amazing. Oh, we're all amazing here today. And you all watching at home, you're amazing too. And the first thing we're going to do to continue to be amazing is to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Are you two ready? Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United, United States, States of America, of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, big question, okay? Luke, all right, do you, do you like trees? Yeah, I like trees. You like trees? Abel, do you yes. like trees? Do you have a favorite kind of tree? Uh, I like pine trees. Pine, that's a good one. That's a classic. Pine trees. Pine trees so. are good. You know what? I like a good birch, a good birch tree, or a Douglas fir. All right, you know that they're they're just really really good trees for different ways. Now, if you like trees, and here's another question: Do you like do you like songs? I like songs. You like songs? Do you like songs? Yeah. So you guys would both describe yourselves as being pro songs, like pro music. Yeah. Yes. All right. So if you this is like the peanut butter and jelly of of events because you're gonna have trees and you're gonna have songs and you're, and you're gonna smush them together and that's what you're gonna have tonight at the Mass Mutual Center. The largest contingent of students performing as a chorus is going to come together to perform um, for everyone that shows up at the Festival of Trees. We're really, really excited. So at six o'clock at the Mass Mutual Center, if you wanna just check it out, if you wanna check out trees and if you wanna check out our kids singing, then this is the place for you. Thank you, um, Chorus Club, for doing this. It's a wonderful tradition. It's a great way to kick off December. Okay, so that is Festival of Trees. Another thing that I want to talk about is for next week. I want to talk about Inclusive Schools Week. So on Monday, all right, this is important. On Monday, I want you to be proud of who you are, Luke. Abel, I want you to be proud of who you are. I want you both to, 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 to be as unique as as you are, all right? So be proud of who you are. Wear something that makes you you, all right? Think about what makes you you, all right? It could be mismatched, funky, or unique clothing or socks, or it could just be something identifiably you. Um, Tuesday, all right? I love seeing all of you, but on Tuesday, I don't wanna see you because I'm not gonna be able to see you because everyone's gonna be wearing camo, all right? So Tuesday is camo day, and we can't hide from kindness or inclusion. Wednesday, all right, Wednesday has my name written all over it. It is Hero Day. It is help everyone respect others by wearing your favorite superhero shirt. Um, so you can wear a Batman. You can wear an Iron Man. You can wear a Spider-Man. You can wear a Wonder Woman. You can wear a Captain Marvel. You can wear a Miss Marvel. You can wear a Doctor Strange. You can wear a Deadpool. You can wear a Mr. Fantastic. You can wear a Thor. You can wear a Captain America. You can wear a Black Widow. You can wear a Hawkeye. You can wear, you know, any no Superman. You can wear any number of uh, superhero t-shirts. Um, to represent Hero Day. Thursday, stand out! I want you to stand out. Wear bright colors, neon colors. Do not be afraid to stand out. Friday, all right, that is Inside Out Day. So wear clothes inside out to show how exclusion and bullying may hurt on the inside, even if it doesn't show on the outside. So it's going to be really important. Let's just get into the spirit of next week and really celebrate. Um, you know, school. Yes, Luke. Yes. Something's coming in. What's coming in? Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news, everyone. So we're back with Lessons with Lewis. This month is the month of kindness, and we have the king of kindness right here to help us learn a little bit about kindness. So kindness is the quality of being generous, considerate, and friendly to another person. And there are so many ways to show kindness in our community, at school, or at home. You could just hold the door for somebody, saying a simple thank you, or donating clothes to a local charity. So no matter how small or big your kind act is, it can really have a powerful impact on somebody's life. And kindness can really be contagious. Once you start one kind act, it might keep on going. All right, and now we're gonna see a little bit of what Lewis did around our community. Lewis often shows kindness by helping when people are feeling down or if a friend is feeling a little bit grumpy. He also loves to share pretty much everything, whether it's a toy or a special drink. One day when we were walking through the park, he saw a girl fall off the swing and immediately went over to help out.
Both the girl and the sister were very grateful for his kindness. But I think his favorite kind act was being able to deliver 460 pairs of socks to the Springfield shelter. They were really appreciative of all that he did. Good morning, Kevin here at the Springfield Rescue Mission and we're visiting with Lewis this morning and Carolyn from Maple Shade Elementary School and they just brought us a ton of brand new socks. The more kind acts we do, the kinder our world will be. This is our Lessons with Lewis. Thank you. Hello. Our king of kindness. Oh, thank God. I completely forgot. It's a new month. It's a new month and it's Lessons with Lewis. So thank you, Lewis. Thank you, uh, Mrs. McBride for kicking off the month of December, which will be Kindness Month. And that's what we do here at Maple Shades. So we're really gonna focus in on kindness. Okay, now I feel so kind right now because I get to be able to celebrate a couple people who have been working really, really hard. All right, so we have a new award this year, all right, and it's called the Persevering Penguin Award. So this is kind of like an offshoot of our academic adventure awards specific to ST math because you know ST math it doesn't tell you what to do you have to figure it out yourself all right and that is a conceptual challenge and it would be challenging for me in the way that you know my my brain works and the way that I have been used to math so I am always impressed when students persevere and push through ST math um, and I know that Gigi is really impressed as well. So we have our two inaugural candidates for the ST Math Persevering Penguin Award. I could not be any more proud. Anthony Sowers, Anthony, come on over. Please hold up your awards. This is huge. Keep up the good work, everyone. We're really excited for you and all of your hard work on ST Math. Thank you, guys. All right. Um, so let's see. We talked about kindness. We talked about Inclusive Schools Week. We talked about the Festival of Trees. Um, you guys like pine trees. Um, we all like birch trees. Um, let's see. We talked about ST Math Persevering Penguin Award. Um, so, pretty confident. I'm pretty confident in saying that that is all that we had. No, Mr. Martin, you're forgetting the joke of the day. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I've got this. It's okay. It's okay that I made a mistake. I don't have to yell. I don't have to yell. It's a lot of energy to come out on a Friday morning, so I'm not gonna yell about the joke of the day. Okay. I don't have a joke, though. I don't have a I joke. Don't. Abel, thank God that you have a joke. Abel, what is the joke? What is every parent's favorite holiday song? That, that is a great question. What is every parent's favorite holiday song? Silent Night. Yeah, it is! Go to bed! Go to bed, kids! Oh, God, it's a great song. It's a great message. Um, all right, everyone. I hope that you have a great day today. I hope you have a great weekend. I would love to see you tonight at the Festival of Trees. Can't wait to see everyone be uniquely you on Monday and all of the uh, days that follow next week for our first uh, Spirit Week. So it's going to be great. I cannot wait. I hope that you all work hard, and while you're at it, have fun. Toys. Toys.